Hi everybody. Those of you that were trying to watch this when I was doing it live, I am so sorry for all the technical difficulties. I still don't know what happened. Those, those of you who don't know, you're lucky. Oh, it was a nightmare. I tried three or four times to do a Facebook and YouTube live and every time it wouldn't work. I rebooted my internet. I just, ugh. Not worth going through all that again, but that's why I'm doing a recorded version of a live again. Hopefully next week everything will work and I'll be able to do a regular live again. But again, I'm sorry for all the technical difficulties earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and start like I did at the very beginning. I went ahead and got rid of that one live because there's no reason to keep it up since it got cut off at the uh, between uh, about the middle of it. So I'm just going to go over everything real quick. I don't I don't want you to forget about. The coordination product release, this is what I did my video on last week, which was another recorded live. You don't want to miss out on these dies. That's why I'm going to share it with you again. They're while supplies last or until March 31st. You've got a set that goes with the positive thoughts, one that goes with the, I can't remember what the stamp set is, but the one with the raccoon. Then the little ladybug set and the sending thoughts your way. I think that's what it's called. It's a celebration, and then we've also got the Happy Birthday to You dies, and then the uh, Please This Punch designer paper that goes coordinates with a bunch of different punches. If you missed last week's video, just scroll down on the, in the Facebook part, and you'll be able to see it. And same with um, YouTube. It'll be under Facebook Live's playlist. Okay. Oh, and then don't forget about Celebration. There are different ways to uh, earn free stuff when you shop, host, or join. I have made a video. The best deal is with the join. You get so many free things with your starter kit. And I've made a video explaining it and showing you how you can sign up online so you can see how easy it is. I know some people want to sign up, but they're a little intimidated about trying something new, signing up online. And it is super easy. So I show you step by step. And I've... Uh, included that. That's on my YouTube channel under uh, the Celebration 2020 playlist and on Facebook you just scroll down my page and you can see that. But you get so many neat things with that. Host, if you host a $300 workshop or you place a $300 order of your own, you get that little ladybug uh, stamp set for free added to your uh, stamp and rewards. And if you shop, if you place at least $50, you get to pick something out of the Celebration brochure. Okay, so we went through all that real quick. Now I'm ready to get to the part that I couldn't do at all <laughs> on this video. Oh, it's so frustrating. Now, one thing I am going to do, I did uh, do the drawing for last week's video for the cards that I made. So let's go ahead and go to this screen. This was the one that wouldn't work at all the first time. And I uh, drew Brenda Myers during the live when it was working a little bit anyway. So Brenda, if you're seeing this, make sure you message me on Facebook. I'll need your mailing address and I'll try to get a hold of you if I can. But if, hopefully you're watching this, and then when I get your address, I'll mail all these cards to you. Okay, and if you share this video, I know it's not a live, but if you share this video, you'll get the cards that I'm demonstrating here today. Uh, get put in the drawing to get these cards, and make sure you comment shared below so I know that you um, uh, shared it. Facebook doesn't let me know, and neither does YouTube, so make sure you put down shared. Okay, now we're going to go to the fun part. This is the Heart to Heart Bundle. This is what I'm uh, featuring in this video. I'm making three different cards with this neat set. I love this big die. I'm going to show you a neat way to use it. And you, when you bundle these together, you save uh, 10%. And I love that this does not have to just be for Valentine's. It can be for weddings. With the floral images, you could use any greeting you own and make any kind of card. So that's why I like this stamp set so much. There's so many different things you can do with it. Now, I did happen to make, since Valentine's is a week from today, I made two Valentine's cards, but one is uh, one that'd be good for a wedding, uh, wedding card. Uh, okay, let's get going. Let's start with the first one. We need a piece of flirty flamingo. I'm going to fold it in half. This is a five and a half by eight and a half piece. Make sure I've got that going. Okay. And I'm going to be using a neat die set I totally forgot that we had. It's uh, stitched Be Mine. And these dies are beautiful, but then there are more dies. Aren't those neat? I love these different hearts. And I can't believe I forgot about this, but I'm going to be using this on my card. So I'm going to put that in my little dish. And I'm also using the stitched rectangle dies, which I use a lot. 
and it is going to be, I can't remember which die this is. The number three, that'd be this one. Let me make sure I'm right. Yep, this die here, the number three on this one. I think that's, oh, and then of course I am using the heart die on this one. I'm not gonna use it on the other cards, but I wanted to use on at least one card. Okay, so we've got the card base folded in half. And then I've got a piece of uh, Whisper White. This is four by five and a quarter, and this is gonna be the base of the card. And then I needed a piece of uh, watercolor paper, and it is a five and a quarter by four. So I'm gonna show you a neat way to get like an ombre, I think that's how you say it, either ombre or ombre, I never know how to say it, with these, uh, with these heart die, with this big heart die. So let me grab my silicone mat so I don't make a big mess here. I'm gonna use the Melon Mambo ink pad. And what I've done, I've, when it's closed, you squeeze it together and that gives you a little pool of ink. So I've got that right here. So here's my, let me kind of make it so you can see everything. So there's the Melon Mambo. Do this with the Flirty Flamingo and Blushing Bride. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring in my Aqua Painter and it's filled with water and I'm using the wide uh, brush. And I probably should have a piece of paper towel here let me grab one real quick. Okay. Because sometimes this gets a little too wet. On this effect, I kind of do want it pretty wet. So I'm squeezing some water on it. I'm going to grab some Melon Mambo. As you can see, there is a lot of water in this. And I'm going to take this and just go over the bottom of the paper. Because I want to make a, get a, a wash look. So I'm going to squeeze a little more water out. Because I want this to be very fluid. It's a lot of times when I watercolor, I don't want this much water, but in this case, I do want a lot of water. Oh, let me get this in the screen a little better. I just realized I was getting out of the screen. There we go. So that's pretty good. Take my, make sure I get all the Melon Mambo out. Now I'm going to pick up some Flirty Flamingo, make sure it's good and wet still. I'm going to do that up above it, and I'm going, making sure they mix together in the middle. Okay, yeah, this is getting a little too dry, so let me get some more water squeezed out. This is why you definitely want to use the watercolor paper. Because the other paper, I think even the shimmery white with the, as much water as I'm using might start puckering. So I want, but I want to make sure I don't have any white showing. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to end it with some blushing bride. I actually didn't mean to go up on the flurry flamingo that high, but that's all right. This is still going to look beautiful. And once again, I'm pushing as I'm going. And when I can tell it's getting too thick, I just start squeezing the handle again to get some more water out. And with the watercolor paper, that helps it um, dilute a little bit more. So there we go. We've got that neat ombre effect right now. Let's see, I'm done with the melon. Nope, I do still need the melon mambo. So we'll keep that out. Flirty Flamingo I'll be using here in a little bit. So I'll leave it open. But I am done with the Blushing Bride, so we'll close that up. While I've been doing this, it's given this paper a little more chance to dry. I think I'm going to take this and just dab it a little bit, because I want it to be able to um, die cut. You don't want it too wet, because sometimes that affects the die cutting. So actually, while that's drying, I'm going to do some other die cutting too. So let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the way. Bring in my die cutting machine. Get it in the screen, there we go. Done with this, get this out of the way. Now I'm gonna take a piece of Flirty Flamingo. This is a three and three quarter by four. And I'm gonna take this heart die out, put it on here, and now you're gonna love the way this die cuts out. You actually get two hearts out of this die. So I'm going to go ahead and put it through twice. I really don't think I need to, just to be on the safe side. The way this day has been going, <laughs> I want to make sure it's cut really well. So I've got a nice heart right here. I'll be using that one and one in here. And I better get my take your pick tool out because it's not wanting to come out right off. Which As long as I uh, push a few things out, get part of it out, then it comes out a lot easier. There you go. So that came out pretty easy doing that. Okay, I'll put that over at the side and put the die back in. 
And I think this is probably dry enough now. So I'm going to bring this in and put my hearts on here. And I want the lighter version on top. It really doesn't matter, but I want the lighter version on top for this one. So now I'm going to have different colored hearts going all the way up. And doesn't that look prettier? After it dried some, it, I think it looks a lot prettier. Hopefully you can see that in the video. So I'm going to put that in. This one I'm definitely going to go through twice. And I might even... Uh, it feels pretty tight, so it might do just fine. But since this is watercolor paper, it's going to be extra thick. So while it's all still together, I'm going to take both of my cutting pads and turn them over and run it through again because sometimes that helps it die cut a little better and if you keep those standard cutting pads together then it's not going to uh, move on you oh yeah that cut through just fine so that's ready to go and oh I do have one more thing I need to die cut I should have stamped well here I'll just get these guys all popped out so I suggest, and I did this with my other card when I made it the first time, you could keep these hearts and use them as a shaker card or little embellishments on your on another project, but I'll get these out of the way for now. Because I did forget to stamp here. I've got a piece of Whisper White. Let's see, I forget what size I did this one. You could just get a scrap, but it's a three and three quarter by one and three quarter. And I'm going to stamp. Oop, I forgot to put the stamps on blocks get these out. I want the Happy Valentine's Day stamp. Okay. Boy, this is really feeling like a live. I keep messing up. <laughs> now I'm going to bring the Melon Mambo in and stamp it right there. There. Okay, now we're going to die cut that out. So now I'm done with the Melon Mambo, so we'll get that out of the way. Get this back in the screen. And I'm going to take my stitched rectangle die. It really doesn't matter if it's upside down, but I'm going to put my scratched up one on the bottom again because I like using, I've got this one marked top, that way I know not to cut on it, so that way you can still see what I'm doing. It would help if I put the die in though, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this time it's not technical error, it's user error. Okay, now we're done with the die cutting machine, on this card anyway. Love the stitch dies. Okay, now we're going to do some embossing. Oh, that's right, I'm embossing. I forgot I did this neat thing with this heart. So we'll bring this back in again, but this time Use a different platform, and I'm using our uh, 3D embossing folder uh, plate. And I'm going to bring in the solid heart here because we've got that was the one that came out of this one right here. I'm going to put that in because I want to have that embossed. And you see this flower here, and I don't know if I'm getting the video better. There's a flower right here. I want that kind of in the center of my heart, so that looks pretty good. So now fold first, you just need the one 3D embossing plate. Only you need to have it go through once. I love our 3D plates. I like the regular ones too, but the 3D ones are just gorgeous. So this is the Parisian Flourish, by the way, and it's in the uh, mini catalog. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so now we're done with the die cutting machine for now. We'll be bringing it back in with some other cards. But now I'm going to get this out of here. And I could keep all those little hearts that haven't come out completely yet, but I'm going to go ahead and get those out. And while I'm doing this, it comes out pretty. They start to come out as I'm doing this. I don't know if you're hearing some falling down. Now, some of these don't come out like this one. That's actually a full heart, which I think is pretty neat. So we've got some little hearts in, uh, in this stamp set that you could actually stamp on there if you wanted to. As you can see, these are all coming out super easy. I'm just pushing them out. I think that's, oh, I've got a whole bunch of them up here. But this paper is still a little damp and it's still cut with no problem. Okay, there we go. So they're all done. Let's see if I can get this mess out of the way. Got my little, got the hearts I wanna keep. So I'm gonna put them over here at the side where you can't see them. <laughs> 
Okay. Now, I'm going to bring in my multi-purpose glue. And what I'm going to, I think I'm going to bring this in too, just to make sure I don't get glue on my work surface. I love these silicone mats we sell. And I'm just going to put a little bit, definitely put them on these uh, full hearts that are in here. For sure. And I'm just going to put just a little bit, maybe on little corners, the, on the, some of the edge ones. I don't want to do too much. But just putting some on these solid hearts is going to keep it down with no problem. Now I'm going to bring in that Whisper White, that five and a quarter by four piece. And then glue this down. Just make sure all of the solid ones are down. And to be honest, I kind of like seeing the hearts. I don't know if you can tell that in the video. I kind of like the ones that aren't attached because they're kind of popping up a little bit. It just it looks cool that way. Okay, so I definitely want to make sure these guys are I'm pushing on my solid ones first. Okay, so that's on there. Isn't that pretty with that? I love having the gradual effect. Now this one's kind of sticking up a little more than I want it to. So I'm going to put a little bitty dot right there and glue that down. Use my silicone mat can take up some of that glue. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this on my card base. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. As I've got my glue out, I'll just use the glue. Pop this on. Okay. Now I'm going to put on my heart. So I'm going to put some glue along the edges here. Not all the edges, like you just need it on. Actually, it's going on pretty good, so I might just go all the way around because I don't want this popping up. Since my little hearts, some of them aren't attached, it's probably better to have the glue away on the whole border of that. And I'm going to put that about right there. I'm even having it hang over the white a little bit over here on the left side. Hands are a little sticky from the glue, but not too bad. There we go. You need to push down a little hard because it's having, you want it to attach to the white base too, not just the hearts. They'll all, they'll all be flipping around. So we've got that on there. Now I'm going to put my solid heart on. I'm going to put it in an angle like this. There, I like that. That looks pretty good. Get that pushed down. There wasn't glue on my fingers. This thing wouldn't be popping up on me. But there we go. We've got that one on. Now the one last thing is adding this. Not the one last thing. I've got one more thing I want to show you that I did on this. I'm going to put some dimensionals on this rectangle. Go ahead and put one in each corner. Take the paper backing off. Put it here in my little pile of hearts. Okay, there we go. And then it's going to go on. Now this time I don't want it upside down. That wouldn't have been good. There we go. So we've got Happy Valentine's Day. Now I could have stopped right there, but I thought it needed a little bitty heart over here. So I had forgotten all about these too. I'd forgotten about the Be Mine dies. Then we've got these really neat epoxy, they're heart epoxy droplets. And they're different sizes. I'm going to use one of the big ones. I've got one big one that's right here. I'm going to bring in my Dark Flirty Flamingo Stampin' Blend. And I'm going to color on it while it's still here on the backing. I'm going to let it dry for a little bit. You can kind of tell in the video, it's definitely looking pink here in person. Give it a chance to dry just a little bit and then add a little bit more. Okay, so that's pretty good. I think I'll wave it a little bit so it dries a little faster. That's the neat thing about the blends with them being alcohol based, they dry pretty quick. Now I'm going to pop one off. Sometimes easier said than done. There we go. There. And I'm going to put it right here. Now when it gets put on this, you can tell that it's pink now. So I've got my pink little heart on there. And that just set it off. I think that makes it look a lot nicer. So that's my first Valentine card with the heart-to-heart -heart stamp set. Now I've got one more to go. 
and I forgot to put any stamps on dice, so I'm going to grab the ones I need. I'm going to be using... Oh, where did it go? It disappeared on me. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so there it is. You think I would have seen it because it's one of the ones that's starting to die red on me. But I want that heart, and then I want this border right here. So I'll put that on this block. And I think that's, yep, that's all the stamping I'm going to do with this, with this next card. And I'm using the Flirty Flamingo ink pad, the Basic Gray ink pad, and the Real Red ink pad. Okay, so I'll bring these in the screen a little bit so you can see them. Get this out of the way. And I'll be using the, um, let's see what die. Oh, I'm using the ones I am using so much anymore. They're in the uh, Stitch So Sweetly dies that are in the mini catalog. These have become my go-to dies. I'm going to go ahead and get these out of the way because I'm not using these anymore. But I will be using this one here. And I've already die cut it. I had some left over from a, a card class I did, but I was using the number four die. So I'm going to use this rectangle die here. So that was the Stitch So Sweetly dies. Now, here, here's my stack. You need another piece of Flirty Flamingo, and it ended up doing a card base, the same card base as the first card. I made these at two different times, but they were both from the heart to heart, and I thought, ooh, I'll just go ahead and use these cards. Okay, so there's that card base. Here's a piece of four by five and a quarter that I already embossed. It's also with that Parisian, since I'd already, I knew I was gonna demonstrate how to do it with the heart. You already know how to do it, so I went ahead and did it with this white piece. And then I need a piece, another piece of Fleur de Flamingo. This is five and a quarter by one and three quarter. A piece of the From My Heart Designer Series paper. This is five and a quarter by one and a half. And it's a specialty paper. And when I move it in the light, you can see how the heart, pink hearts in the middle shine. Now I'm trying to get in the video for you. Oh, there we go. Now you can see how they light up. Okay, I'm gonna put this, grab my snail. I'm going to put it on across the middle of this uh, flurry flamingo strip. Put it right across the middle. And they're the same length. They're both five and a quarter inches long. So you're only going to have a board. You just want to make sure the top and the bottom border are even. Let's go ahead and put this. I'm going to use my glue again because whenever it's embossed, it's a lot easier to put on with glue than with the snail because the snail tends to come off again when it's embossed. The glue gets in the grooves of the embossing and it stays in the card a lot better. I think I explain that about every, every week, but I know some of you are new sometimes and I want you to know that. It's something I learned the hard way. I used to uh, have all my cards out for people to see when they come to my classes and the embossed ones were coming apart because I'd used the snail. Okay, let's go ahead and use the glue again. I'm gonna put this across the bottom. Okay. Not all the way to the bottom though, maybe about half an inch. Okay, get that on there. And the trick with the glue, you just make sure you put a bunch of pressure on it at the very beginning and then it's on to stay. Now I'd already used that this uh, scalp rectangle die. Since I already had these out, I didn't thought, well, I'm not gonna waste the paper, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And let's bring in a scrap piece, bring in some grid paper because I'm going to start stamping this. The bottom is that this little heart with flowers. I'm going to use the Flirty Flamingo, and I'm going to intentionally be off of the card of the rectangle square. So there we go. And what I'm doing, that very point right here of the heart is going to be lined up with that stitch mark. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a nice little stitch mark across this rectangle, and that helps you be able to um, make a straight line. I love that because I could not stamp in a straight line at all if it weren't for that. And then being photopolymer, I can see through them so I can tell that I'm getting them lined up. So we've got that done. Now I'm going to bring in the Happy Valentine's Day again. I'm going to go ahead and clean that off because it had the Melon Mambo on it. Now I'm going to take my basic gray ink pad and stamp it right above the hearts. OK. 
Okay. Now I'm going to take this little border thing with my real red. And this time I kind of did this close to the middle. It's not going to be perfect. And I want it to be within the um, stitching. So I'm actually lining up the top of those, the heart with the stitching to keep it straight. And this one's going to go right next to it. And this one will go next to this one. There we go. So that's all that with that stamped. That's all the stamping for this card. Now I do need to die cut something really quick that I didn't do earlier. So we'll bring this back in. Get my right platform. Take another piece of Flirty Flamingo. I've been covering things up. Hopefully I can find it. Oh, here it is. And I'm going to use this die from this, uh, oh, Stitch So Sweetly. Oh, I'm not in the video. There we go. So that one is just going to fit on this one. And the size of this one is four by two and three quarter. I'll run it through the big shot. And that's all the die cutting for that. Actually, I think that's all the die cutting I'll need to do for today. Okay, so now I've got this. This is gonna be my background for this because I thought that's just too much white and I wanted a little, have something behind that to pop, make it pop a little bit. So I'm gonna put some here across the middle here because not a lot of it shows. Stand up again so I can see what I'm doing. Because I want to center that and have just a little bit. The sides showing the same and the top and bottom showing the same. So that looks pretty good. Put that a little closer so you can see it. And now I'm going to put that on with dimensionals. So I think I'll just put one in each corner again like I did before. Take the paper backing off. Okay, and then this is going to get stuck just so like this. So there's another quick Valentine's card with a totally different look. So here are my two Valentine cards for today, and these were all made with that heart to heart bundle, along with the From My Heart designer series paper. So I hope you like those. Now this next one is not a regular sized card. And it's using some cards that I keep forgetting about, and I really like them. They are the um, scalloped note cards and envelopes that are in the um, annual catalog. These are the little cards right here. This one is the pool party one, or no, balmy blue, balmy blue one. The other colors, it comes in, and it's white on uh, the inside, so you can write on them. The other colors in are old olive, pear pizzazz, I really like pink. It's not one of our colors, though. I think it's real close to Blushing Bride, though. And I know there's one. Oh, Terracotta Tile is the other one. So it's already scored. So I'm going to take, go ahead and still take my bone folder and get that crease really well. So there's that. Now, you can just have that little white border at the bottom. I like how it is a little shorter than the back. But I didn't want that. I wanted to have a little color underneath it. So I'm grabbing, this is a five, in, let's see, five inch by three quarter inch piece of the Settles Designer Series paper, six by six pack. This is in the annual catalog. And I'm going to put that across the bottom. The reason it's five inches is because this card is five inches long. So there's the inside there. I think that looks better having that under there. So that's ready to go. Oh, let's take that back. Now we're going to do this. This is from the same paper stack. This is the subtle six by six designer series paper. This is the balmy blue color. And I want to use the gingham. And I'm going to put it across. Oh, I forgot what I was going to do. We're going to do that in a minute. I can't believe I almost forgot this. I've got a neat thing that I want to show you. Probably should get, well, this block is probably big enough. There are three different flowers in this. And I wanted to use all of them to make a background on this paper. I wish I'd remembered to get these on blocks before the video, but I'm going to put that one there, this one about right there, and then we'll grab the other one. This is what I like about having unmounted stamps. 
you can put more than one on a block. So I've got all three of those flower stamps on here. I'm going to take the Balmy Blue ink pad. And I'm going to stamp a background all over this. And see, I made like a little triangle. And if you've ever seen my videos before, whenever you want to do a random thing, uh, background, you want to have it look like a triangle. So I just made that triangle on my block. And I'm actually going to stamp the back too. It just makes it easier. Oop, that one didn't come out very well. Let's see if I can get them on there again. There we go. That's one thing I forgot to do. You want to use your stamp and pierce mat. That's what the problem is. Now it'll they'll stamp a lot better. That one I just didn't ink up very well. But it's going to be covered up, so I'm not going to worry about it. See, now it's stamping a lot better. And it makes it go so much faster having all three stamps on there. And just keep going until I have it all covered. I think how long this would take if you just did individual stamps. Since I've got them all on there, it goes so much quicker. Okay, so now the background is done. Actually, I think I'm going to put another little one right here. There, that looks better. So now that's done. I can't believe I almost forgot that. Now I can put this across the middle. See, that's why I didn't worry about that flower right there because it's going to get covered up. That goes right across. Looks like I've got made it a little too long, so I'm going to snip this little piece off quick. There we go. Now we're going to do some stamping with the flowers. And this is the same size rectangle as the Valentine card I just did. So this is the number three or four die, four die, I think. So I'm going to take the wishing, wishing you laughter, love and laughter forever after. Make sure I get the right stamp here. Put it on a block. And I'm going to stamp it across the top with a basic black ink pad. I think I'm still on the screen. Let me go up a little bit. I'll stand up so you can see it better. Sometimes I forget I'm recording and start moving things so I can see it better. <laughs> Doesn't work. There we go. It's a little crooked, but that's all right. Now I'm going to grab the tulip die that's in here, or stamp that's in here, and this little bitty leaf stamp here. Okay. Grab my Highland Heather ink pad and my Pear Pizzazz ink pad. And the way I did this, I decided for the, I wanted to have a tulip right in the middle and these are kind of angled a little funny. It's a little hard to tell if you're getting it right in the middle. So for my very first one, I went ahead and stamped, try to get it in this close to the center, stamped my tu first tulip from here. Now I'm going to take the pear pizzazz, and this little area right here is where I want the tulip to be. So I'm going to get it close to the tulip. There we go. Now that those leaves are on there, I can just put these next to each other. Okay, and then get my little tulips. Have a nice little border there. And then I'm going to put dimensionals on it. I love my dimensionals. I don't know about you. I don't know if you use dimensionals a lot, but I use a ton. Put one in each corner. Get this out of the way. It's starting to look a little cluttered here. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Paper backing is off. Put this on right in the center. And you've got a cute little card to give somebody. You can write on the inside. But I love these scallop. They're really cute little card bases. And you get these neat envelopes to go with them. They're scalloped. And I went ahead. I'm going to, let's clean this off real quick. Where did I put my, oh, there it is. I knew I had my chamois out here. My well-loved chamois, as you can tell. <laughs> and I'm going to take the balmy blue ink pad again and stamp 
a tulip right here. Just have a little flower on the flap. And that card is done. So I hope you like hope you like today's cards. And if you share today's video, we've got till next Thursday. And hopefully next week I'll be able to really be live. Hopefully there won't be any technical difficulties next week. But if you share my video, I will um, you'll be put in a drawing and you will receive all three of these cards if your name is drawn. So I really appreciate you sharing my videos. It helps support my business. Uh, I'll see you next week. Hopefully, like I said, live this time. Bye.